with phobias, however you approach a phobia, neurobiologically you're doing the same thing. Whether you do NLP fast phobia cures, or whether you do um, Skinnerian desensitization, complete with subscales, or whatever else you're doing, fundamentally when you're treating a phobia, you're trying to intervene in a neurological process called binding. This is a real thing. Forget all the, all the um, myths that we make up to, as part of psychology to try and explain things that we don't understand. You know, in the same way that once upon a time we didn't know what thunder was, so and, but people needed an answer to explain what this loud banging and flashes of light were, so they invented Thor and his anvil. And since the beginning of time, human beings have made up stories about gods, about to provide ourselves with answers that we don't otherwise have. And in exactly the same way, when we didn't know that OCDs were um, a function of an irritated caudate nucleus, largely as a consequence of streptococcal bacteria uh, getting in, uh, strep, anti strep, anti strep virus bacteria getting into the brain and irritating the caudate nucleus, Freud thought it was about interrupted potty training. It was, it's a story to explain something that we don't quite understand. Um, but binding is real. If I say to you, apple, now you think of apple. But you weren't thinking of apple before. When, you, when I give you that stimulus, you pull together, you have to pull together a model of apple in your head. It's called an internal representation. You have to pull that model together and it's a, it's a labile object. It's changeable. Um, and what you include in your model of apple, it's this kind of shape. It's that kind, it's green, red, it's about that size. Grows on trees, you buy them from Sainsbury's, there are sweet ones, dessert ones, and so on. Cooking apples and whatever else. Depending on the context, the circumstances, you'll buy more or less information separate bits of data that get pulled together to give you a model of Apple that you can be working on while I'm talking about Apple. That process of bringing that data together is called binding. It takes 11 milliseconds to get from the back of your brain to the front. And we, we, we spend an awful lot of energy binding. Because your brain doesn't carry one discrete model of an Apple, like something that you've taken a picture of or a video clip or whatever else, not how the brain works. It sucks all the various bits of information together and part of the information it sucks up is the emotional tags. Now, when an arachnophobe binds their model of spider, they're binding an, an emotional tag which is fear. For whatever reason, when they think about a spider, whether the stimulus is internal and they think about it, or they see a picture of a spider and that makes them think about it, or whether they actually see one run out from underneath the sofa, they're binding an internal representation of spider. And that internal representation has included in it fear. Frog phobia, the frog model has fear, and so on. However you aim to treat a phobia, what you're, fundamentally what you're trying to do is ensure that the next time they bind their model of their previously phobic stimulus, the emotional tag they find is indifference. Now there are lots and lots of ways to get to that end, but the end is the same. When they think of or experience their phobic stimulus, it isn't phobic anymore, it's benign as it should be in the first place, and it's benign because the emotional tag they bind is one of indifference or whatever else you want to use. Now that doesn't mean that you have to say, in future, when you're exposed to your phobic stimulus, which is spider, you must be indifferent. And as I said earlier on, my favorite way of treating spider phobia is to hypnotize them first of all, because without that, there's nothing. Hypnotize them and say spiders are cute. It's because in hypnosis, their subconscious mind can't really argue the toss. You tell somebody spiders are cute, they know what a spider is, they know what cute is, spiders are cute, they're bound together now, 
And everything else flows as a logical consequence of that. You are not afraid of things which are cute. So you can do it that way. Or you can do the Skinnerian descent. You can do a subscale and go from little spider on an asteroid in the far outer reaches of the universe and come forward to one sitting on your face. You know, wake up with a tarantula on your face, no care. You can do it that way over a period of time. But whichever or you can you know, run black and white movies forwards and backwards and slow them down and adapt them, or you can change the flavour of the spider or whatever it is you want to do. But you're still aiming for the same thing, which is to get to the problem. And the problem is the emotional tag that's being bound with the internal representation of spider when they do this binding thing in the 11 milliseconds it takes to get from the back to the front of the brain. 